announcement I have opened up my 28 day manifestation challenge that will be starting on the third you will get the opportunity to work one on one with me and I will be working with you throughout the month helping you kickstart 2021 off on the right foot getting in that high vibration and helping you achieve your manifestation goals removing blockages uh, it is being offered at a special price from now until December 31st. So if you sign up uh, before then, it's actually cheaper than what it costs to book like a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So I feel like given that I will be working one-on-one -on -one with people throughout the month, doing live stream events, helping you manifest with the moon, um, and, and kind of being a support there throughout the month, it's really at a great value. So I hope to see some of you in that container. I'm only opening it to 30 people because I want to be able to create the energy, create the space to really get you where you need to be in 2021. So hope to see some of you there. As always, I still have my Patreon in which I am uploading bonus content along with the extended reading. So if you are subscribed to my Vimeo, make sure to check that out because for just about the same price, you're going to be getting so much more content along with discount codes for booking personal readings with me or just booking um, courses. You'd get a discount code on the 28 day manifestation challenge along with all the extra content. Um, there's a tier system, so be sure to check it out. I'm going to link everything below. Anyways, let's get into the reading. Hello, Sag. I am here to do your reading. I'm so excited about this one because the song I got on shuffle for you guys was and now that I found you by Carly Ray Jepsen. Um, now that I found you, uh, so could you be finding somebody now? It's like, how did we get here? Um, you came without a warning. So you could be meeting somebody unexpectedly for some of you who are looking for love. If you are not looking for love, this could mean you are meeting somebody very important on your path very soon. Um, so just take it how it resonates. Let's pull some of these Oracle cards for advice for Sag in January 2021. Oh, do all things in moderation. Begin to explore. All right. So maybe putting yourself out in like new scenarios, new situations in January, new groups and trying to meet people. Um, you know, going to like doing things different than your normal routine, switch it up because I feel like you could end up meeting somebody in January, um, unexpectedly. So we have be decisive. I did see while I was doing the premeditation shuffle, there was this kind of, um, the justice card showed itself to me. And sometimes I think of that as like, there's a need to kind of make a decision. Um, and, and I feel like now that the be decisive card is coming up, it's like there is this need for a decision and it could be in regards to um, social circles or kind of, uh, you know, what if you're invited places going, things like that, because I'm seeing it could have to do with social or it ha could have to do with, um, you know, you might have to make a decision between two people in January uh, is what I'm hearing because I did see the Three of Cups as well, which could mean anything around like celebration, uh, friendships, like gossip talking um, or uh, third party situation. So let's take a look. Let's see the bottom. Oh, first the Moonology cards. My bad. Let's see, Sag. Let's get some of these Moonology cards here. We have a new start is coming. Oh, I like that new moon. Y'all have something new coming in. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Alrighty, one more please. Work through your fears. So there might have to be like some kind of um, things that you have to work through here in the next few, few weeks or kind of, um, you know, just putting yourself out there in terms of like, that might be out of your comfort zone to put yourself into new situations. 
but a new start is coming interesting do all things in moderation also so it could be like you know um just keep that in mind let's look at the cards we have the ten of swords so this is leaving behind some kind of hurt and betrayal i feel like a lot of that justice card that i saw is like finally getting justice for maybe a past situation that you were in either like friends who were gossiping or doing like talking behind your back maybe or even like if you were in a third party situation um i feel like you're going to be receiving justice for this which allows you to kind of move forward and move on or just learn your lesson so let's see overall energy for sag in january 2021 we have the world card that is all about new beginnings my friends new beginnings are here for you new beginnings are here um this new beginning it, like i said it's about being vulnerable sometimes i see the world card and i always think like vulnerability I think it's a new start, but it's like being out of your comfort zone. Like she's laying there naked and there's people watching her. If you look at the card like that, um, she's exposed. Her breasts are exposed. So it's kind of like there's this vulnerability to this new beginning because I do think it will be a little bit out of your comfort zone, even if it is like a new love that maybe it's a healthy love and that's out of your comfort zone um, or a new group of people you're being surrounded by or a new job in which you are being seen by a lot of people. All right, we have the Eight of Wands, wow. Okay, this could be travel, maybe you're moving, um, maybe you are going to be traveling. Uh, I don't know what the travel is like. Obviously we're in a pandemic, so uh, take it how it resonates. This could be communication coming towards you. This could be a lot of people vying for your attention, a lot of messages that come in. Um, quick communication there somebody traveling towards you maybe somebody's getting ready to move to where you are we have the king of pentacles um hmm. we have the queen of wands all right and we have the temperance card there you are sag so this king of pentacles this is somebody who's going to be very stable and that might be what's out of your comfort zone um this person could be a little bit older than you as well uh, and they might be very financially secure. All right, King of Pentacles, tell me who is thou? The Hierophant, okay. <laughs> Taurus energy here. Taurus energy, somebody coming in. This person means business. This person wants commitment. This is you here with your fiery, like sexy, sad energy. Um, kind of like standing in your power, but also there's not a lot of budge, I feel like. Like, especially with Sagittarians, it's like you're very vocal, very honest, very truthful, um, and very kind of self-reliant. As, as a Sag rising, that's how I feel about myself. Um, but there's this like har harmony and balance here that you're feeling very harmonious you're ready for this new beginning i do think that you're ready for this new beginning you're feeling very empowered and because of that you're manifesting somebody who is like uh, a boss you know whether they're male or female this person is um they're serious they're 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 serious all right <laughs> let's see the temperance card but that might be what you need like that grounded energy what is the temperance card doing here for Sag? The five of swords. So this feeling of, you know, defeat or competition. This could be, you know, people competing for your attention because I do see you radiating a lot of attractability in the, uh, in the month of January. So, but there's somebody here who's like very serious, very serious very serious let's see nine of pentacles very serious very single but very abundant this person has their shit together uh the hangman and the page of cups um interesting i'm getting strong taurus vibes here 
Let's see what this Nine of Pentacles is doing here. There's some, like, getting enlightenment. You, you've both been kind of getting some kind of enlightenment, and that might be what's leading you. You've both been getting signs and synchronicities and messages from your guides or from the universe because this person has been getting messages and I feel like you have been tapping into these messages and if you already know this person this person has been getting messages about you um what is the knight of pentacles doing here the ace of wands okay so if this person's like been very stable and secure I feel like there is this passionate spark um this person wants to offer more than their finances, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see the ace of, yeah, this person's, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. This person is a very serious person, um, but they're very kind of, I think that <clears throat> don't judge a book by its cover, Sag, because I think that when you meet this person, they might be like stingy, but that's only because they might have been burned in the past. And also, I think that this person has like um, a lot of money or they are very financially well off or they have like a very high position in society, which is why they have to be kind of closed off and careful, which is why your initial reaction about this person is that they're very serious and they're very stiff. But they're uh, they're hiding the ace of wands okay they're hiding the ace of wands <laughs> so just to get in there like if this person seems very stiff and kind of like you know boring or serious um, I don't think that they really are I think that they're just that way because you have to kind of get to know this person because they've been burned but I think that this person has a very um uh, strong, strong, you know, they've got a lot, they've got a lot to offer, let's say it that, that way. All right, let's see, um, the page of cups here, ace of coins. So I see you offering some kind of, I, I actually see you being the one to offer some kind of message to this person. So it could be that you meet this person, you kind of like them, and you're like, you know, uh, offering them some kind of message or invitation or kind of being like, I have a crush on you type of thing. Um, hoping that, like wanting wanting an opportunity because I feel, I actually do feel like that. I feel like you might be the one to take the initiative or you might be the one to be like, oh, I kind of like this person. Um, and there's kind of this needing to gain enlightenment or clarity. So it's almost more so I feel like you meet this person and first you try to figure out maybe through friendships, maybe through mutual friends, what's the deal with this person? Who is this person? What are they like? What are they about? Um, I feel like this is going to be your really your, your first moves towards this person is kind of behind the scenes trying to gain some kind of enlightenment about this person before you actually go forward with some kind of offer here or making yourself available to this person. Um, all right, because I do feel like this is somebody that actually a lot of people are interested in or after. Um, I Like, is this person famous? This person, I definitely think that they have like, they, they do something that is, you know, <laughs> I'm telling you, this person had, like, they're stable. Let's just put it that way. Um, Seven of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. See, like, fortune is on your side. Luck is on your side in this situation. I do feel that there's kind of this presentation here of this person. This person could be traveling to where you are, or if you're, like, in a city, like, this person's, like, in town or you know they come in to do like to stay whether it's short term long term um this person has a lot of options but you're there's something about this that there's like you are 
down for the challenge. You're down for the challenge. So uh, honestly, for some of you, this might be somebody who is actually um, somebody. Uh, interesting. Let's see the seven of cups here. Seven of cups. The nine of cups. They have a lot of options, but they're looking for something in particular, honestly. This might be why it's like work through your fears because you might be confronted with this and be like, I like this person, but because of their kind of um, background or who they are or like what they do, you might be a little bit nervous about approaching this person. Let's see, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune here. The Moon card. Okay, so Piscean energy here. Um, but a lot of Jupiter energy too. So the Moon, this is about kind of this new beginning for you. One that's a lot more rooted in like these deeper emotions and um, not allowing yourself to have this illusion of like, this situation because I do feel like the universe is on your side in your on your side you've been getting some synchronicities and I feel like when you meet this person you're going to know that it's this person like that you've been getting signs about um but also you are you know it, it's going to take a little bit of having to uh, work through a little bit of fears because, like I said, this person's going to be serious. All right, let me get one more. Give me an idea of who this person is. Eight of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Um, this is somebody who has recently moved on from, you know, a painful situation in their life, be it that they just went through a divorce, um, they left like a strong commitment. I feel like that's how you might know. I do feel like this person is like very established though. So that's why I'm saying like they might be a little bit older than you or just be like very mature, very established within their life. And um, it, very interesting. So I don't know if any of you have been getting messages that you might be with somebody who's very well known in their field. Let's pull some heart to heart messages. I dream about you. What did I tell you? This person's been getting communication about you. And this could be somebody that you have dealt with um, before, but I don't feel like this is a past person. I feel like this is a totally new, new beginning. This is somebody totally new. And when you meet them, you're gonna be have, have had dreams of them. Okay, let me see one more. <laughs> I wish we could be together right now. So I do feel like this person is very single right now and they're actually kind of calling in their person. So when you guys meet one another, it will be kind of that synchronistic thing. But I do, I don't know, Sag, I feel like this person is very, a, a very prominent person. You will know this person when they present themselves to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is a very specific message for some of you, but this person, when you meet them, something significant about them is they'll have been they're they're traveling or they have just traveled from somewhere else or they're in town or they've traveled to where you are um or maybe vice versa you have traveled to where they are or you have just recently moved so i think that's like something significant um a significant message so in the extended we're going to look at the archetype cards let's see if we can nail down who this person is what the deal is here uh, some more messages. Let's pull some of the sexual tarot and some more advice from the tarot. And if you guys are interested in that, the link is in the description box, both on my Patreon and my Vimeo where I offer the single purchase. So if you're interested in that, I will see you guys there.